Well, hello everybody. Happy Friday. It's so beautiful outside. So I decided that I was going to um, test something out and uh, sit outside on the roof of my garage, which was a little harder to get to than I thought, simply because I'm short um, and I had to get a chair. But I made it. We are on the roof of the garage. Oh, it's a beautiful view of the backyard, the neighbor's yard, and house, and neighborhood. So hopefully the sirens of the nearby hospital don't go off. My dog manages to stay calm for a few minutes, and uh, you know the wind doesn't play too big of a factor. It already has. My hair's a little crazy today, but that's all right. Welcome to this Friday. We've made it through another week. They all seem to be blurring together at this point. Happy first day of May. What a beautiful, beautiful way to start off the month. I am very excited for all of the, um, the spring and the growing and everything happening this month. It's going to be excellent. Um, May Day, you know, that's what they call it. My dad sent me a message this morning saying happy May Day. That was really cool. So May Day, May Day. I made a post about that on Facebook. You know, it's fine. I've been working from home for too long. But I had some great feedback last week about um, our the um, facts I shared. I had mentioned that I was going to call my dad and have him switch the music in the barn to um, like classical music because it helps increase milk production by 3%. But he actually called me to tell me that he wasn't going to be doing that um, and tell me that the band... Millie Vanilli, who won an Oscar and yet, or not an Oscar, a Grammy, um, but Queen didn't, right? That, that group, um, they won because they actually lip synced their song. That's, that's how they won, which is, you know, point in case there. So, but it's fine. I also got feedback that I talked too much with my hands last week which I appreciated, you know, we're always trying to grow and be better. Um, and I attribute that because I actually painted my nails last week and they still look pretty great except for my ring finger has a chip in it, but that's fine. I'll get over it, I guess. But happy May Day. It's the first day of the month. Everything is beautiful. Everything is growing. And this week's facts are about plants. I have some fun facts for you about plants and the many many different things we can learn from them. The first two facts come from my friend Rhiannon who shared these with me. Fact number one, every part of a dandelion is edible. That's right, you heard it here folks. Every part of the dandelion is edible. You can eat it, it probably doesn't taste good. I'm not making any promises about that. Um, but if you're lost in the woods and you don't have food and you know you need something to eat, see some dandelions, well there you go dinner so that's great um do you guys remember in like elementary school at recess where you know you'd go to like the playground with your friends and you find dandelion and you're like oh if you hold it under your chin and it reflects yellow that means you like butter you know yes we all like butter oh to be carefree again the second fact <clears throat> Willow bark has historically been used as an anti-inflammatory agent because um, it produces a chemical called salicin, which is very similar in chemical makeup to what is in our modern day aspirin. So, um, and I had known that, that you could like crush up the willow bark into tea or in other kinds of medicine and, and use that. So there you go. Again, if you're lost in the woods and you know, you've got a just splitting headache and you happen to take a break under a willow tree, go ahead and crush up that bark into some, some tea or, you know, I don't know, pour it in some water and drink it. Help your headache. That's how that works. That's science right there. Please don't take any of these scientific facts seriously. Always check with your doctor if you have a headache. <clears throat> plant, uh, plant number, plant fact number three. 85% of plant life is found in the ocean. And that makes sense to me because 71-ish percent of the earth is made up of water and 96% of that 71% is ocean, right? So, I mean, you know, you could just simplify that and say the majority is ocean and 85% of that uh, or 85% of all plant life is found in the ocean. The ocean's kind of wild, man. It's it's some spooky stuff, but it's good stuff. It's good spooky. 
it's a good spooky. Yeah. Yeah. Um, fact number four is also about the ocean. The Great Barrier Reef is the largest living structure on Earth. It's 2,000 kilometers long. So if we translate that to American, it's roughly 1,243 miles long, um, which is which is very far. That's that's quite a ways. That's like maybe, I don't know, I didn't look it up. It's probably like all the way to Texas or something. From like here to Texas. I think that's that's a pretty far distance. Um, but that's kind of neat. That's kind that's on my bucket list of things to see is the Great Barrier Reef. So hopefully someday when when travel isn't as restricted in the world, you know, goes back to everybody go outside and, and interact with people. Um, you know, I'll put that on my list. Put that higher up on the list. So, okay. The final fact, the final fun fact about plants for you today is about bamboo. Bamboo is the fastest growing woody plant in the world. It can grow 35 inches in a single day, not three to five, not five to three. No, it's 35 inches. That's almost an entire yardstick, right? Um, and I kind of wish my hair would grow that fast. I mean, not really, because that would be a little obnoxious, but you get what I mean, you know? We always wish our hair would grow faster. Um, and that's kind of what, what I wish. Not 35 inches, but maybe that inch. I'd go an inch, an inch a day would be fine. Yeah, I can handle that. All right, but there they are. Those are your fun facts and thoughts for the weekend. Um, I hope these facts remind you of similar plant facts you know or other things um, that you've seen in the world that strike you as being really awesome and really cool. And I hope you're as excited for the growing season as I am. Spring is one of my very favorite times of the year. Um, and I can't wait to see all the trees continue to blossom and grow and um, farmers are out planting and it's so awesome to see all of that new life starting. And I hope you take some time this weekend to spend outside with friends, with family. If you are out and about, please remember to be safe, be healthy, be well, take care of yourself and take care of others. Be sure to join us next week for our weekly events that start on Monday at 10 o'clock. Um, we're going to do one more week of those, then we're gonna take a little break and revamp the schedule and continue with some awesome programming for you all on the 18th of May. So we'll see you next week for sure, starting Monday at 10 a.m. Join us for soup chat and worship as we say goodbye to our seniors and uh, Thursday night for game night and Friday. I'll see you here, same time, maybe the same place. I kind of like, I kind of like the roof. Take care everybody.